Well, so far, uh, there's a cap on energy prices in the UK, been for the past couple of years. and uh, But uh, that's gone up by, well, it's nearly tripled over the past, uh, compared, to, compared to a year ago. And let's find out what the options are now by talking to Professor Michael Bradshaw, who's a co-director of the UK Energy Research Centre, uh, which is a network of academics. He joins us now from The Hague. Um, this, uh, th Welcome to the programme, uh, uh, Professor. How extraordinary is this increase of 178% in the energy price cap? That's, that's nearly triple. Uh, can it go up any further? Well, unfortunately, it looks like it might go up. It's all being driven by a, a shortage of gas in, in Europe and competition between countries to purchase the gas that they need. Um, and that's driving prices higher and higher. And we've heard more, more statements from Moscow about unless you lift the sanctions, the gas won't flow. So it, it looks like we're in a very difficult situation and no one really knows what's going to happen next. Is the UK in a particularly difficult situation? I mean, plenty of countries are suffering from the high cost of energy. And are there any particular problems that the new prime minister has to has to address? I think people find it difficult to understand why, while on the one hand, we don't rely on Russian gas in, 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 in any large way. In fact, last year was less than 4% and this year it's probably going to be close to zero. The problem is our connection to, to the European market and the global gas market and the fact that 40% of our electricity comes from gas and over 80% of homes use gas to heat their homes. So you know, the gas price is particularly important to UK consumers and industry. Now, the cap, uh, does that mean that basically the regulator sets a maximum price? And that's just tough for the gas suppliers because they'll have to pay whatever they have on the market. And so their profits go down. Is this an the issue of basically yeah, yeah. trying to trying to make sure that uh, uh, energy companies continue to make profits? Well, the regulator, Ofgem, it sets, sets this cap, and it's based on, it's an average of the price over a, over a pre, previously it was a six month period. Now it's going to be a three month period. So the it was actually set up to stop people who who, who didn't bother to switch um, suppliers um, to make sure that they didn't uh, end up paying too much. It wasn't designed to do what it's doing now. So it, it depends on what the price is, but you're absolutely right. If the price continues to go up and the cap doesn't, then the energy companies are in, the, in, in, a, in a difficult situation. And last, last spring, we had 31 of them go out of business simply because the cap didn't rise and the price they were having to pay to get gas did. You're saying that the cap may go up further. What if there's a, there's a limit that people say, no, we can't afford any more? How can the government make sure that gas is still supplied, that the companies still get money and that it's cheap enough for ordinary British people? Well, this is what we're waiting to hear from with the, from the new prime minister. It's one thing to place, place a, a sort of cap on the price and to freeze the price. But the, the companies involved in supplying our, our electricity and gas, many of them are still having to buy that gas at that very high, high wholesale price. So the government would have to help them cover that cost. Otherwise, they would go out of business. So that, that's the idea of the price cap is that the consumer wouldn't pay, but the government would have to help out with the companies and the purchase of gas. I mean, ultimately, the government is using taxpayers' money. Okay, Professor Michael Bradshaw at the uh, the UK Energy Research Centre. Thanks for joining us on Newsday.